greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. But the second greatest thing you'll learn is what West Coast Conference players and coaches said when we asked them about their most romantic Valentine's Day gesture. I don't know what's the most romantic thing I've done with my wife, but probably for the team. I try to get them a rose for everybody on Valentine's Day, one rose, and tell them that they're, you know, they're special to me. What is Valentine's Day? <laughs> I think you treat a person well year-round, not just one special day out of the year. I haven't done anything over-the-top uh, romantic. Um, with girlfriends in the past, I mean, I've usually just gotten a little gift or a card or something like that, flowers, nothing, nothing over the top. My husband, he like invited me over to his house and had made like all my favorite things. He, I love hot chocolate. And so he made like this gourmet hot chocolate, uh, made my favorite meal, had flowers, had music. One year we went to Las Vegas and, but there was really nothing romantic. We went to the stratosphere, hung out, had a good time. Uh, it was fun, it was exciting. Usually, you know, basketball season and Valentine's Day really kind of go hand in hand. So uh, maybe I should say taking her to a ball game, right? Yeah, but, <laughs> so we've had many of those. Falls are right in the middle of the season. So uh, uh, God bless all our wives for hanging in there with us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay low on this one. Just, uh, just a dinner, a solid dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let somebody else embarrass themselves. The balloons and the rose petals on the bed with the balloons floating above the bed. Yeah, something like that. I've done that before. Yeah. How'd that go? Good. It was good. Got five kids. <laughs> Got five kids.